So, you've got all your ore. You know where you want to transport it to sell it. Which industrial ship is best? It, it's the Miasmos. I can't even let you guys. It's the Miasmos. Let's just get into it. Hello, I'm Gutter Snipe from Gutter Snipe Gaming, and today we're going to be having a look at the Miasmos. Now, the Miasmos is a Galante industrial ship that specializes in transporting ore. So it has a very small cargo hold, but it has a massive ore hold, and that's going to allow you to transport the maximum amount of ore, or hopefully you've compressed it first, you've got compressed ore, to your nearest market hub of choice. Be that Gita, Didixi, Amar, or... Heck. Now we'll just take a quick look at the requirements. It's really simple. All you need is Spaceship Command to level 3 and Galante Industrial to level 1. Super low skill entry. Won't take much time out of your day to get that trained up. Let's have a look at the traits tab now. Uh, so for every level of Galante Industrial, you will get a 10% bonus to your ore hold and a 5% bonus to ship max velocity. Um, it's the ore hold size that we're really bothered about here. We're not going to be doing a lot of sub light travel in this this ship you're literally going to be undocking from your refinery of choice and then going straight to your market hub of choice you're not going to be flying around this at sub light what i will say when you're flying an industrial especially if you've got cargo on board it do not use the autopilot feature now that five percent bonus to ship max velocity might be tempting to use the the auto the autopilot feature because it will burn to the next gate a little bit faster, but do not use it. Suicide gankers, this vessel is worth killing empty. If you have a 2 million isk catalyst and all you care about is winning the isk war on your killboard, this is a tempting target. Having said that, let's have a look at the fit. So I've left the high slots empty. There's there's nothing really useful that you could put in here. Um, so there's no point equipping mods if you know why increase the cost of the ship if, if there's no real reason to do so looking at the mid slots we've got an adaptive and vulnerability field which increases the resist profile of your shields by a base 30 percent very useful a large shield extender which just increases the raw hit points of your shields an em ward field which kind of plugs the em damage resistance hole that you've got in your shields all shields are weak to em and thermal damage so when you're planning a shield tank, really you're looking to plug those two gaps as much as possible. And you guessed it, in the last slot we got thermal dissipation field. Again, this is just going to plug that thermal damage resistance uh, hole that you have in the shields. If I now simulate this fit, I can show you what it looks like with all these mods turned on. And as you can see, we've got a huge boost to resistances across the board. And it's increased our effective hit points as a result of that. While we're on the subject of tank, we'll take a quick look at the rigs I've got equipped. You've got a medium core defense field extender. Uh, we have three of these. All these do is increase the shield's capacity at the expense of an increased signature rate. What this means is you've got more raw HP, but you're easier to hit. In the low slots now, we've got damage control 2. This is a fairly standard item that you're going to equip to 99% of the ships that you fly in EVE. It gives resistances the board you can see there how much it's a passive module so it doesn't even use capacitor and then the last three low slots are inertial stabilizers i'll have a quick look at them because i've never covered these before so the requirements are super low just hull upgrades to level two and mechanic to level one they improve ship handling and maneuverability from a dead stop when you come through a stargate and your ship is cloaked and stopped it needs to align to the next stargate reach 75 percent of the ship's top speed and then it will go to warp you can improve the speed of this by increasing the ship's maneuverability with skills like spaceship command which increase agility turn rate um, and certain modules like this so the important thing you need to look at on this page is the navigation tab now i'm going to turn all these off right so they, they don't count at the moment let's have a look at line time now aligning is how long it takes you to align to the next gate so you can go warp. You can see I have Spaceship Command at level 5. Um, so this number might be slightly higher for you. Um, but it will take me 11.41 seconds to align and go to warp. Now that is an eternity if someone wants to suicide gank you. 
but by equipping these inertial stabilizers, you can see that that's half that time. This fit is not only designed to make your trip shorter, because you're half in the amount of time it's going to take you to align and go warp all the time, so you're moving faster, you're constantly moving faster, you're at warp more often. On a long trip to Gita, this is going to save you time. But the added benefit of it is that with inertial stabilizers equipped, you can warp off faster, which makes it harder to suicide gank you. Suicide ganking is always going to be a problem when you're hauling valuable materials in EVE. Uh, so really, the faster you can get to warp and get out of those kind of lower security set systems, like a 0 0.5 system in high sec, where it takes Concord longer to respond, then, then the better. We'll just have a quick overview of the cargo hold. So the cargo hold in the Miasmos is tiny, 550 M3, but the ore hold, with I have Galante Industrial to level 5, I get 63,000 M3, which allows you to carry quite a lot of uncompressed ore, but once that ore has been compressed, um, you're going to be able to carry quite a significant quantity. Then the last thing that I would say on this subject, and again I'm going to talk about suicide ganking because that's going to be your biggest threat when you're hauling cargo at any point in your reef career, is that the you can see here that without compression, Mobile only able to carry about 7.4 millions worth of ore, that's going to be substantially more once you've compressed it because you'll be able to fit more raw ore in. Make sure that your cargo hold isn't worth like 200 million isk because that's a kill that's worth, as to a suicide ganker, that's a kill that's worth losing like an instalock battle cruiser. So what you need to do is kind of try and limit the amount of ore that's in your cargo hold. I would say don't go higher than around 100 million personally. But if you want to risk more, that's entirely your your call. You might be you might be fine 99% of the time. I'm perhaps overly cautious, but just ensure that maybe you're not. It's sometimes better to do two runs to the market hub to sell your stuff and lose only half your shipment than to lose everything you've just worked for in one go. So like, never undock an anything that you or your corporation can't afford to lose. Now. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on the Miasmos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you found a better method? Um, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.